What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, go back to another video, and in today's video, um, your man's doing something kind of crazy, and he's buying probably one of the most unreliable BMWs, well actually it's not up for sale just yet, but we're gonna go check it out, mainly because it is one of the most unreliable BMWs, and we need to make sure it's any good before we even buy it and get into a huge financial mistake like the 7 Series. <laughs> the 7 Series, um, we we're gonna take it actually to Showman's today, but I decided to postpone it. I did have the sensor, but then yesterday it didn't want to shift into gears, um, so I was like, you know what, I was trying to pretty much ignore the fact that it could be the solenoids because it's an extra $300 on top of that. I decided to place an order on $300 to order some new solenoids for the transmission as well. So we've done all the gaskets, the seals, um, and everything we need, even the pan for the transmission. But now we're going to actually do the solenoids and the sensors, all pretty much rebuilding the transmission in terms of the electronics. So uh, this thing is pretty much getting an entirely new life to see we do the rear main seal and the oil pan. So all that being said, order some new parts, we're waiting on that. I made myself some cereal because today is a big day and I typically don't eat breakfast, but I'm pretty excited for today. Good stuff here. Good stuff. Today is one of those days where I'm checking out a car that I told myself I'm never gonna buy, and plus, I never really liked the way it looked. I might as well say it because it's probably gonna be in the thumbnail, but the M6, I never thought it would be a car I'd ever purchase, um, and I still don't know if I'm ever gonna purchase it because it's just one of the most unreliable BMWs in the world, and, um, but that being said, it's also one of the best sounding BMWs in the world, so I might have to cop one just for the channel, just to enjoy it, because what I like to do on this channel is to get them, restore them, and I think restoring an M6 to make it absolutely perfect might be the coolest thing ever, but at the same time, might be the biggest financial regret. I don't know, I don't know. Let me know down below, guys. I'm not actually buying one today, but I, it is going through the auction. I'll consider it for like, I'll, I'll put a bid, and if it goes for more than that, honestly, it's really not worth it. But let me know down below, guys. Should I honestly try to get an M6, an M5, one of those V10s, um, and try to, you know, do some kind of crazy exhaust with Valtronic? Let me know down below, guys, if that's something you guys want to see, and would you guys want to see vlogs on it, going out and doing some crazy pulls on it? I think it'd be pretty cool, then racing it against the i8. Might be some cool stuff. So let me just go ahead and finish up my cereal and then we'll head out and head on our way to Copart. We have two different locations, two different M6s to check out. Guys, there is so many trucks today. Compared to when we got our truck, there was no trucks here. Now there's so many cars. I hope there is, I'm hoping we're able to view a car today. That would be ideal. First things first guys, 80 minute wait time. I really hope this isn't legit. I'm actually going there and just talking to them. They're just trying to see a vehicle. That's the first thing. The second thing, Copart's actually starting to charge people just to view cars now, which is absolutely crazy. So uh, my girl is actually signing up for a yearly membership just to go see some cars, which is kind of ridiculous. There's a $25 guest fee, which there wasn't last time, but I guess there is now. Or you have to sign up for the $59 annual fee, which I guess it is what it is. So uh, if you guys know that if you guys are coming out to Copart, just make sure you have a membership number or they won't let you in. And after you wait this 80 minutes, it would suck not to have a membership number. So we decided instead of waiting the two, uh, about an hour, hour and a half uh, at the Copart parking lot, uh, we're just gonna head down to Auto Gator, which is only two minutes away from the Antelope Copart. So we are heading on to Auto Gator, which is the first place my brother got his first BMW, his 328, I don't know if you guys know. And uh, I buy a lot of parts from them in terms of M performance parts, because when they part out cars, sometimes they don't know the value of some M parts, so then I end up getting from them. Uh, so let's just go down there to see if they have any, you know, M6 parts or any other M cars uh, that we plan on getting down the road. Plus, they also have some salvage cars there. It might be cool to see something. So guys, we're officially here at Auto Gator and giving them a shout out. Don't know if I should, but I did. <laughs> so they have a bunch of total cars right here that they're selling to the public. You don't need a license or anything. So if you guys are looking to rebuild, these are slightly up priced. Obviously, they get these cars from the auction themselves and then they resell it to the public without doing anything to it whatsoever. Unless they have some parts and they fix a thing or two. They have a bunch of cars down there, which I'll be showing you guys some of the ones that we like, but uh, let's just go ahead and go through a few of them and see what parts they got exactly. Guys, 328, some easy front end damage, runs and drives, 91,000 miles, 5K. This looks like a 2011 or 2013. Nice white interior, pretty minor damage here. Nice car, honestly, for the money. I'm sure they got this for like 35 or four, but I mean, still five is not bad.
guys, we just checked in and uh, they pretty much pretty much kicked us out. They kicked us out because we don't have $5 for a vest. I literally don't have cash. I said, can you take car? They said, no. We ha I had to renew my membership too. So I paid $120 just to come view a car. And on top of that, I couldn't actually go in because they wanted an additional $5 for a vest. I told them I have card and then we had $4 cash, right babe? And uh, they wouldn't take $4 cash. It's $5, like they are so stingy. Oh my God, I'm about to just, we're trying to find Bank of America right now and just like $5, like what a joke. $135 later, we're finally inside. So we just left Copart, and I think that it's probably one of the biggest hoop tees that I, I was, they cut the roof. Who cuts a carbon roof and put in a sunroof, like an aftermarket sunroof? I, I, I don't even want to deal with that. And then the dash is peeling, uh, the, the exhaust is missing the exhaust. You literally smell the cast as soon you start up the car. The idle was absolutely crazy. So it did say it starts, but that's why you have to come check it out in person because that thing, it had like the full check engine and the half check engine it has so many issues. And on top of that, just like there's so many red other red flags, like the trunk was not where it's supposed to be. And it's like, why that didn't even get in the accident. So like, did they replace parts and what happened exactly? Or did they kind of BS it when they were replacing the parts? Don't want to deal with it. There is one other one in Sacramento now. So we're going to head down to that co-part, check it out. Um, this one, it, it, it doesn't say it starts, but it's in way better condition. I kind of want just want to see one that's in just better condition and see uh, how much that one's going to go for exactly it probably has a blown motor but at least let's check it out hey guys we just made it to the second location hope for the best here this is the second m6 we're gonna be looking at exact same color um again wish us luck the exact same year it's just this one is enhanced so reason no idea the sacramento co parts a lot better only five minutes guys location number two guys So we just checked out the other M6 and uh, another car actually that what they told me to put away the camera it was So annoying. So I pulled out my phone for the M6 because I had to show you guys that car the other car wasn't too big of a deal um, So, you know, we'll let you guys know what happens But as for that M6 it is actually in very mint condition like really 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 nice um, Anything that's damaged on that car is fixable nothing major like the dash was fine The roof did not have a sunroof cut into it 
Um, the rear bumper is just scraped up. Easily paint paint match and get it fixed. The front, uh, the driver's side mirror is just, it, it, the hinge is kind of messed up, so it needs a replacement hinge within the mirror. Um, not a big deal either. So all that being said, guys, uh, the, the, the biggest issue with that one from over here in Sacramento is that it doesn't start. I tried getting it to start, and it, it says start operation assistant, whatever, when I try starting it. So either the key isn't programmed, the car is an absolute blow motor, um, or it could be something electrical. So I'm still probably gonna bid on the car. I think it's going out tomorrow, so wish me luck that this is a financially good decision. I'll bid a, like a decent amount, considering that if the motor is blown, you know, we'll have to rebuild the motor or get a new motor. So I'm gonna build accordingly because, uh, because again, and then a new engine's like six, $7,000 without labor. Anywho, me and my girl, we're heading down to get some uh, ARAB food. ARAB food. So you guys always see Chipotle, but we're getting some ARAB food today. So uh, um, it might be good. It might be good some good stuff. Guys, we just got the good stuff from Bobby Alone. Let me go ahead and show you guys what we got real quick. This is their falafel sandwich. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this. This is something I tried recently and it's so, so, so good. If you guys are near the Sacramento area, go to Bobby Alone Market. It's so, so good. I'm literally promoting the, the finanes out of them, but trust me, this thing actually does wonder. Get the falafel sandwich. It's amazing. It may not look amazing, but trust me, it's amazing. Anywho, guys, that pretty much concludes the video. Hopefully, we're going to be trying to get another build in a day or two, and hopefully, the truck's going to be on the road as soon as possible because I really need that to be our tow rig that would be pretty ideal we did have the axle everything get delivered earlier today which is perfect so i'll keep you all posted but without further ado guys i love you all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out